Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to present you today iBeam technology to produce and manufacture thin piezoelectric films. I'm Karl Gündel and working for Skia Systems. At first, I will give you some examples about uh, applications of piezoelectric films. Then I will show you some insights about structuring, optimization, and the position of piezoelectric films by iron beam technology. Piezoelectric films are used in a wide range of applications, such as transducers, for example, uh, in microphones, motors, and resonators. The resonator application includes frequency filters for mobile communication, where two major types of frequency filters, one is the bulk acoustic wave filter, the other one is the surface acoustic wave filter. On the right side, the schematic structures of both types is shown. The upper part represents the bulk acoustic wave filter. The bulk acoustic wave filter consists of a bottom electrode, top electrode, and a piezoelectric material in between. By a radio frequency, an acoustic wave is generated in, within the piezoelectric material, and this acoustic signal will then transduce into electrical signal. And this electrical signal consists only of information of one single frequency. Hence, this is a frequency filter. For the, saw, for the surface acoustic wave filters, the wave, the acoustic wave is generated in this, on the surface of the device. And by these complex structures of this interdigital transducers, by these electrode structures, um, the wave, the acoustic signal of the surface will then also transduce into electrical signal. The difference is the bulk acoustic wave filter is used for higher frequencies. The surface acoustic wave filters is used in the, mainly in the lower frequency range. Who is Skia Systems? Skia Systems is the world number one supplier of ion beam drilling technology. We are located in Chemnitz in Germany and we are currently at 185 employees and having approximately 60 million euros annual revenue. We are full range supplier, meaning we're doing the complete mechanical design, the software development and the after sales, until the after sales uh, service. Our main technologies are ion beam trimming, ion beam milling, and ion beam deposition, and magnetron sputtering as well. Today I will focus on ion beam technology only. Coming to the first technology, which enables structuring of piezoelectric materials. The technology is called ion beam milling because you etch substrate, the substrate surface by ions. These ions are generated in an um, ion beam source where you have a plasma chamber here and out of this plasma um, the ions will ex accelerate it by a grid system and these ions are formed, in, formed as a beam and this beam is then directed on a on the surface, subset surface, where you generate a collision cascade and by this you sputter out the top atoms of the substrate surface um, and getting an, an, an etching of the substrate surface. And in case you have a mask on top of your substrate surface, you can do a, a structuring on a very low lateral dimension. On this slide, you can see the application of the ion beam milling for piezoelectric materials. Here in this case, there is a silicon wafer with a multi-layer stack on top, consisting of platinum, PZT, and a photoresist. And by having this physical bombardment, you can, can etch completely through the complete layer stack, meaning the ion beam milling is is applicable to do the etching of different materials. So you can etch through the complete layer stack without changing the process setup. 
on the lower part, you can see an SEM scanning electron microscope image after the PCT etching. And by this, you can do a complete structuring of the wafer. This is the system. We did these processes shown the slide before. The system is called SCIA MIL 200. MIL is indicating that this is an ion beam milling system, and the 200 is indicating that we can process substrates up to 200 millimeters in diameter. This system is configured with a central, central handling robot system and three process chambers, enabling a high volume production. Uh, we can integrate an endpoint detection for uh, defining the etching endpoint of by, when, when etching multilayer stacks. Typical rates are in between 20 and 50 nanometers per minute. And by at a good uniformity of 1% over 200 millimeter. The next technology, the ion beam trimming, enables the optimization of piezoelectric forms. For the ion beam trimming, an ion beam source is used. And this ion beam source providing also an ion beam. And by a focusing grid system, the beam is focused on 8 to 15 millimeters full width of half maximum. And the wafer, the substrate, will be scanned in the meander path in front of this ion beam. And by the control of the dwell time at each position of the wafer, you can define the etching amount at each position of the wafer. And this allows, for example, if you have an, any thickness distribution map, any um, deviation from the ideal thickness, you can do an optimization of the thickness level, a flattening, for example, a flattening of the surface so that you can do an optimization of the uniformity of this piezoelectric film. This ion beam trimming technology is used to optimize the uniformity of the aluminum nitride piezoelectric layer, which is used for bulk, the bulk acoustic wave filters. After, after the position, before the ion beam trimming, you have a certain distribution of the thickness over the wafer. After the ion beam trimming, the uniformity is increased a lot. So what you can see here, uh, before you have a standard deviation of the, the thickness of the aluminum nitride of 3.54 nanometers, and after uh, standard, uh, standard deviation of 0.3, which means uh, improvement factor of more than 11. Here on the right side, you can see a histogram with the um, thickness measuring data uh, before the trimming in green and after the trimming in blue. So you can see the thickness distribution is much smaller and optimized for the, for the right thickness, the target thickness. Also, the piezoelectric layer for saw filters can be optimized. In this case, it's a guided uh, uh, surface acoustic wave filter, which means you have a piezoelectric film, which is bonded on a silicon oxide uh, layer, which means you have a piezoelectric on insulator. And this piezoelectric layer has to be very uniform for optimal um, properties of the, of the filter. Here on the right side, you can see the distribution of the lithium tantalate layer before the trimming and after the trimming. And what you can see here is that the uniformity is increased a lot. Um, here on the, on the lower part, you can see the standard deviation is reduced from 439 to 34. 
nanometers, which means an improvement factor of almost 13. Also, a histogram shows a wide distribution before the trimming uh, process and a narrow distribution after the trimming. The SCIA Trim 200 is used for this optimization of piezoelectric films. This system is um, equipped with a central handling robot system, which enables a high volume production. Um, the wafer chuck is able to be adapted to 100, 150, and 200 millimeter wafers. Um, and the computer controlled access system enables the dwell time regulation of the ion beam in front of the um, substrate surface. In general, an optimization down to a uniformity of 0.5 nanometer RMS is possible with this system. The third technology I want to talk about is the ion beam deposition of piezoelectric materials. For the ion beam sputter deposition, a sputter source is generating ions which are directed on a target material and this target material goes then will be deposited on the substrate and by using different target materials and deposition of multilayer stacks is possible. The second source, the assist source, um, can be used for pre-cleaning, for generating um, oxygen and nitrogen ions to deposit nitrites and oxides, and can provide additional energy for further densification of the deposited films. The advantage of the ion beam deposition, sputter deposition, uh, compared to other uh, physical vapor deposition technologies is that the, the range of the sputtered particles going to the, to the substrate is in the range of several 10 electron volts, which is 10 times higher compared to magneton sputtering or electron beam evaporation. This high energy enables a high surface mobility and hence you will get a very dense, defect-free um, deposited film. The system which was used to deposit the piezoelectric films is called SCIA Co 200. For the sputtered deposition, an ion beam source with a beam diameter of 120 millimeters is used for assisting a large ion beam source with a diameter of 350 millimeters is used. The target holder um, enables accommodation of up to five targets and the substrate diameter is up to 200 millimeters. In this presentation, several ion beam technologies for manufacturing and producing piezoelectric films were shown. First was ion beam milling, uh, which is good for structuring of piezoelectric films and etching through complete multi-layer stacks. The ion beam trimming achieves outstanding uniformity, improves the uniformity a lot, and increases production yield of, for example, frequency filters. The dual ion beam sputter deposition is used for uh, coating of piezoelectric films with very good quality and, and very good uniformity. Thank you for your attention.